Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello, Pisces. Some of you need to be careful. A person could be coming towards you. I'm hearing coming towards you with receipts. Be mindful of a person trying to come towards you with some type of offer, a proposal, or even like a, a contract, a deal, some kind of receipt, some type of documentation. I feel, I'm hearing like I have receipts. Somebody here is is already like in an energy right now of gossiping. This, this is a person. This is somebody that's gossiping. Okay, someone here, three of cups in the verse, a person who's not really a part of a particular group. They're not really a part of a, a community, that, but they want to be in. Somebody feels like their way into a person's group, their community, friendship, their circle, or, or the way for them to be initiated into something is, is for them to go in with with some type of slander or defamation of character or in other words, having receipts on somebody. This is something here that is false. Because the Queen of Wands is here in the reverse. Behind that is the Hermit in the reverse. Queen of Swords in the reverse. The Star in the reverse. Yeah, what the... Here we go. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Virgo. Somebody could be a Leo, Virgo, Cusper. Queen of Swords and the Star Heavy Aquarius energy. Somebody here though wants to go in and 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 tell a lie that a person is lacking morals and values. If someone uses something to seduce people, this could be a person that is claiming that a person is stealing or they're energy harvesting. Somebody out here is trying to create some type of lie. Okay, because this person want this person is someone that's already in isolation, they're restricted by something, or they want you or someone that you know to be, to experience some type of restriction or isolation. This feels like very much some type of gang stalking, gatekeeping type of energy that something like this came out in the Scorpio reading. Where it, this has to do with three of cups. It's like a community. Somebody here is, is constantly making strides and efforts at trying to have a person isolated or kicked out of a group or a community. It's very like mean girls type of, of energy. And it's an or because I'm hearing the word sorority. Some of you could be a part of a, of a um sorority or but it's a it's an organization. There's a group here. There's an organization of people. Somebody doesn't want a person to be a part of a group or organization. Therefore, they're being very malicious. They're being very biased. They're lying. They're slandering. They're putting people down. This person here is just upset because th this is someone with a star in reverse. They only focus on negative things. This person is looking. This is just somebody that wants to gossip. I don't know if this is Someone in the community. I mean, we are here on YouTube. This is this gives me like a person that has like a a gossip or you know people say those T pages. Like somebody out here is is making a living by just talking smack about other people. This is like a gang stalker or a, a gossip channel or something. This is someone that is watching someone else. I feel rise up, and they're like, oh, "Okay, let's let's target that person and, and try very hard to slander their name and, and make up, you know, false things about them and create a bunch of discord and disharmony amongst people." This is somebody that shouldn't even be in in this this lane. Like, ugh, I'm so sick. <laughs> Judgment in the reverse. Judgment in the reverse with the three of cups in the reverse. Once again, gossip. Somebody here is being malicious. They're gossiping. This is somebody that lacks judgment in the reverse is a person who has not gone through an awakening. They lack some type of awareness. This person doesn't recognize that they are very much in some type of karmic cycle. They haven't learned yet that they need to be quiet, that they need to mind their own business. This is somebody that they, they don't understand that. That they need to like really hush. This energy is so aggravating because I'll be honest, I even see it here in in the YouTube community. There's always someone trying to 
in fact, you know, I have to be, I, I've seen it even in my own comments. It, you see it happen a lot. I know a lot of readers watch my channel. So I know you guys know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of spell work and trickery and foolery that people like to do by trying to put certain creators in this mindset to want to attack other creators. A lot of light workers are here. They're protected. They don't need you standing in as, as their guard dog trying to send your 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 dogs out to hunt other people down and, and accusing people of, of stealing content and all this. It's enough space out here for everybody. I don't care what the numbers or the views or anything else shows, whether you're on YouTube or platform, this, this is a message for creators. People, be mindful of people coming in with receipts and gossiping. Oh yeah, this person, you see they posted a picture just like you or or, or they, they stole this. Some people, yeah, they are blatantly stealing, but this right here is just somebody with very just evil, nasty, malicious intentions that's just trying to start a mess to create issues amongst people who perhaps are on, in the same timeline, on the same frequency, and, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a way for people to stop us from having any type of unity. I see readers all the time who have very similar messages. That's if I'm, I don't watch a lot of tarot. I stopped watching. You guys know this. Been following me. I, I stopped posting on this channel three, four, five, six months at a time. And I take breaks away from tarot completely. Well, I don't read tarot. I don't watch tarot. But this is somebody here that, oh yeah, let me show you what they what they posted. Let me show you what they said. And they're just starting mess. I, I'm so this this cattiness and foolishness is ridiculous. Nine of Cups in reverse. Somebody out here is just completely jealous, bitter. Somebody here who their dreams have been shattered in misery loves company. That's the, the best way to say it. Eight of Cups in the reverse, nine of Cups in the reverse. Somebody here who cannot move on. They're experiencing a stagnant energy. They can't seem to get onto their own spiritual path or journey. Nobody likes them. So now they're going out attacking other people, hoping that they can create the, the illusion that you're a bad person. Like, grow up. Find something to do. And the Knight of Pentacles, this is something that this person does routinely. Constantly, they do this over and over and over again, just creating drama. This is something that a person could do for us. Like I said, this could be a gossip channel or page or something where someone routinely goes just gossips about people. Nine of Pentacles is a trustworthy person who is diligent, they're minding their business. Somebody here is in the upright planning, working on things for themselves, and then you have someone who routinely attacks people like this. It's like a gang stalker. It has to be. Gang stalkers, cyber bullies. Yeah, five of swords in the reverse. The nine of pentacles, this is someone who whatever you're doing, this could be your energy, whatever you're, you're practicing, whatever you're doing, you're always looking for the five of swords is a peaceful resolution. Five of swords in the reverse. I'm sorry, five of swords in the reverse. The five of swords upright is is conflict, is spiritual warfare. I feel like this is someone here who, you know, just takes the high road, is not really worried about it. You want to have decent communication. You're willing to compromise. You don't want there to be any conflict or drama. Like I'm saying right now, I don't I don't care to have drama with anybody. Baby, you can have it. I'm I don't care. I don't care enough to fuss, fight, and argue with anybody. I don't. I'm like the sweetest B-I-T-C-H that you will meet. Because I can be real nice, nasty with you and sit there and smile at you the whole time. I don't care. I don't. I just don't understand like why this... Somebody out here is upset, I'm assuming, about Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. <laughs> Queen of Wands in reverse, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Someone out here is losing. They're losing money. They're, they're losing security. They're losing stability. They're not receiving opportunities. And the Wheel of Fortune, something is going well for someone else. And so this person is jealous. They're envious and they're upset about it. 
This is someone too. They refuse the nine of wands is here in the reverse. They refuse ace of swords in the reverse. They refuse to compromise. They refuse to tell the truth. They don't have any ideas of their own. This is someone that they know they're a failure and they're hostile. They're upset about it. Because here you are, not a principles, independent, self-sufficient, for some wealthy. You have success. You have stability and security. You're making profit from whatever you're doing. Strong Virgo energy out here. Nine of Pentacles, the Hermit, Nine of Pentacles, very strong Virgo energy. You're working diligently at creating something. And it's bringing you some type of abundance. You've been invested in yourself. The Nine of Pentacles, the Hermit energy is also a person that is very wise. You're very wise. You're very mature. You may not have a big following a big community. You may not have a lot of friends. Somebody is trying to play on that to make you think, oh, nobody likes you. Like, get out of here. The magician. Exactly. <laughs> You're creating wealth, abundance, security, and stability. The Ten of Swords is here in the reverse. Somebody knows also, too, that like you're coming out of a period of isolation. The Ten of Swords, this is someone that most likely has tried very hard to ruin you with some type of malicious gossip or slander, and they see that it's not working. Because you're steady manifesting something here. You're steady manifesting the Ten of Pentacles. There's a, like an unexpected uh, windfall of abundance that's coming in. You're breaking generational hexes and curses. You're receiving downloads. This is spiritual wealth as well. The hermit with the, the magician and the ten of pentacles. Somebody is very jealous of your spiritual wealth. This is even about money. It's your over, your wisdom. Because your wisdom brings your wisdom and knowledge brings you great power, which also brings you profit. Somebody has a problem with that. So for some of you, you could be very wise. You're sharing wisdom, and somebody here wants to attack you with slander. To to try to um like knock you down a notch or two. Somebody doesn't want to see you to be seen as an official person is what it is. And you're transitioning. You're too strong for, for whoever or this person is or this group for them to keep you down. They can't knock you down. They can't keep you down. And that's the problem. So they routinely attack you. They pay people to, to watch you, to monitor you, to get in your comment section, to lie, to come up with receipts. These are people that are photoshopping things to, to make things look a certain way or whatever the case may be. This is a, a bunch of foolishness. But again, with all of this gossip and slander here, it doesn't matter because you still have the strength, the courage to step out boldly and do whatever it is that you're doing. You also The strength card also is self-control. You know how to control your own anger. Somebody, and I said this a few weeks ago, like somebody wants you to lash out. They want you to lash out so that they, or not even a few weeks ago, a few readings. It's like somebody here, they want you to lash out so that they can say, oh yeah, that person, they're not who you think they are. They're not that wise. They're not that nice. I think I said that in Scorpio's reading. Somebody is attacking your confidence. You also can have a lot of people who are very generous or compassionate towards you. Somebody is just a big hater. They hate. They just hate the way you keep navigating through life unbothered. That's all this is. The star in the reverse being clarified with the four of swords in the reverse. Somebody here, most likely, they wanted you to feel hopeless. But with the four of swords in the reverse, this card even says rejoining the world, coming out of isolation. The hermit is in reverse as well. Someone thought that by them watching you, stalking you, and creating, look at this. Page of swords, seven of cups, and the devil. This is some type of organization with a hierophant. A spiritual community or religious group or whomever. Somebody here thought that if they bullied you enough and they watched you and, and, and you know, created enough gossip and slander about you that whatever was wish fulfillment or happiness 
for you was going to be turned upside down and you were going to be somewhere lacking and slacking and in despair. This is someone here with the star in reverse. Somebody has attacked you because of how you show up in the world or your platform or something like that. The four of swords, though, is you still resting, rejuvenating, healing, and still coming out. You're rejoining the world. These people could not like really force you into to darkness. They couldn't force you to completely withdraw yourself from society. They couldn't force you to stop working on what you're working on. Some of you should really take a, a um listen to the Scorpio reading where I was talking about someone here starting like a revolution within a community. And there's a whole team of people. I wouldn't be surprised if these people are not being paid to get somebody out of the way because you are shedding light on certain things or maybe even if you are a creator or an influencer, the way that people see you living your life or the things that you're doing is really, really encouraging other people to tap into their creative power. It's something about your power, your voice, and what you are inspiring and influencing other people to do that an entire group or organization has a problem with. People don't want other people, light workers, to inspire other people to heal. This is stupid, though. Somebody here is very curious about you with the page of swords and then um, the seven of cups here. Somebody also wants to know, like, what kind of options do you have? Seven of cups, someone also is possibly with the seven of cups and the devil card. Somebody also wants you to be like, I don't know, paralyzed with with fear and procrastinating. This is just to delay you and slow you down. You have here the Hierophant, the Two of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. This, to me, doesn't feel like so much of a, a romantic relationship. I know the Hierophant, a lot of people, the first thing say, oh, this is a marriage. I feel like it's like you being married to your own craft. This is a partnership here. Somebody, you know what this is? You don't have to watch the Scorpio rating that I did. This this hierophant with the two of cups, nine of pentacles, this is somebody out here or a group that's pissed off that you won't actually team up with them. Somebody, it, I'm telling you, it's just like what I said in the Scorpio. Somebody is so upset that you're choosing to do something independently. The fact that you're choosing to, to go about something solo, you don't want to work with somebody. You don't feel like you need someone's help or assistance. You don't want their their insight, nothing. You're like, I got it. I can do it myself. Life has taught me enough. You have your, you have your own life experiences and wisdom. You don't need this person. For some of you, this is like a church attacking you. I don't know why I'm getting here. For some of you, it's like you may have left the, left the church or some of you, you, may, you could be doing like um, Bible study, you know, at home or online or something like that. And some, you have a whole church that's pissed off at you. Or this is a spiritual community that's mad because you won't team up with them. Or this is a group of a, a coven or a cult. They're mad because they like your energy. Or they're looking into your life and your destiny to see what's coming for you. But they can't get access to it because you don't want to work with them. It's like, I said, it's like this mean girl, mean guy energy. Somebody feels like they their business would thrive if they had you a part of it or your energy. And the fact that you keep turning this person or this offer or group down, they're upset about it. Yeah, I said Scorpio. Here's the King of Cups, Ace of Cups. You're trustworthy. And you only want to deal with trustworthy people. You already know that somebody is full of mess. You know that you can't trust whoever this person is or this group. Someone is posing as if like they really give good advice and they're going to pour out all this love to people. This person is a fraud. They are a 100%. They're a fraud. This is someone that's trying to, to act as if they're goody goody when they're not. This is the kind of person that's like, oh, they're trying to show support to people and blah, blah, blah. No, they're not. This person in your face, they're showing you support. But in the background, the chariot is in the reverse. They're hoping that you don't have any victory or success unless you're actually partnering with them. I can't stand stuff like this. Because I've seen it. I've seen it with readers here on YouTube. Readers have their own way of trying to 
get you in cahoots with them. And when you're like, no, I, you know, I don't, we don't have to shout each other out. We don't have to talk or come in and just, they, they'll get mad at you. The high priest is in reverse. I'm telling you, this is somebody who is a fraud. <laughs> high priest is in the reverse. Five of wands with the temperance in the reverse and the queen of cups in the reverse. Once again, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. Somebody here misuses and abuses their intuition. Somebody here is, is trying to use psychic power or, or insights to get information about a person or a situation in order for them to manipulate other people and to create a bunch of conflict and drama. Like I said before, th this this is something in the collective. Like somebody will purposely go out and, and, and gossip and slander and, and pin and target people to talk bad about them. Especially if the, like I said, the temperance in reverse. If your mindset is not like this person, if they don't feel like you live your life like them or you don't agree with them, then you're on their hit list. Queen of Cups in the reverse. This person does not care about nurturing anybody. This person also could be saying that whoever you are, that you're very vain, you're gullible, you're not a good mother. Like they're saying all kinds of stuff. The sun. Once again, the will of fortune in the reverse, ten of swords in the reverse, the sun. Whatever somebody has been doing to attack you, it's not it's not working. Here's the world card, King of Cups, very strong Scorpio energy. So for some of you, the reason why this Scorpio energy is here is it could be in your chart or this person's chart or this Scorpio energy is just about death, rebirth. It's a metaphor, metamorphosis that you're going through. This was something that you had to go through to actually help you to level up more. You have the sun here on top of the Ten of Swords in the reverse and the Wheel of Fortune is in the upright. You're about to come to the end of some type of hardship. Queen of Wands in reverse. If that's your energy, somebody was trying very hard to ruin your overall confidence. But you still have success. You're still having fun. You're free. You still have your confidence. Somebody is also attacking your, your self-expression. However, you and you could be online, the world card, you're on the world wide web. Somebody has a problem with how you express yourself, so they keep trying to attack you. Knight of Wands. Clarify this Knight of Wands. I'm trying to see if this is your, I feel like this is your energy. This Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is very passionate. I feel like you quickly make decisions. You're quick to change things up if you want to. I just see this person is like really, really quick on your feet. You're quick to move so that you're spontaneous. You like to have fun. Somebody here is really trying hard to say that, you know, I don't know, like somebody is just trying to paint you in a negative light. And with the hierophant being here, this is someone that expects you to conform to a certain way. Like they want you to walk, talk, and dress and look or, or talk about certain things or they have a problem with your influence because of how you look or how you talk or how you dress or whatever the case may be. When in actuality, this person needs to mind their own business because here they are trying to ruin you by lying on you when their truth would, would absolutely, when the truth could destroy them, their personal truth could destroy them. The Seven of Swords, or this is someone that's constantly spying on you, scheming, scamming. This is someone, uh, uh, this card says an enemy masquerading as a friend. Like if this person is smiling in your face and they'll turn around and laugh at you behind your back. This person will, will purposely give you bad advice or this person will come in like a monitoring spirit and get information about you, get close enough to you to learn things about you and then will go out and, and spread all of your business and say, this is the kind of person, you have to be careful whether this is a community of people or even for some people when you start to date people, 
Be careful about sharing everything about your past with certain people. And also, you know, for people who are creators and influencers with platforms, I understand that a lot of people really do value authenticity. But sometimes, like I said, when I came back from my hiatus, a few, well, I've been back for like a month now. Censorship is important. As much as I love my community here, there's things about my personal life that will never make it online. The things that you want to protect, I tell you guys, our privacy is power. When you, if you date a person, even with your own friends and family, it's some things that you need to learn to keep to yourself because it's always a friend, an uh, enemy masquerading as a friend that will eventually take something that you told them in a vulnerable moment and try to use it against you. Especially if you happen to be a person that is reaching um, certain levels of success. When people can't find something to say about you, the first thing they want to do is lie. They want to go and dig up things from your past. When people cannot, can't attack you because of what you're doing now, they want to use your past against you. They want to find receipts. They want to gossip. They want to slander. They like It's foolishness. But you have to take responsibility and stop giving people that type of power. Stop telling people your business. Stop letting everybody, welcoming everybody into your life. You don't have to be so overly friendly and, and open. People nowadays, and I blame it on the internet and social media, especially, and everybody being influencers now. Everybody talks about authenticity. People love to see other people acting a fool and being ignorant online. They think that it's cute and funny. And then when you ruin your entire life and your brand being authentic because you think it's what people want to see and hear, then you, you know, you, you mad at the world. No, you put that out there for everybody. You can see it right now happening across the entire collective. Everybody is dissing people. Every it, It's a battle amongst all of the, the music artists. Everybody is, is trying to reveal something that they know about another person. Attacking people's family, their background, and everything else. At the end of the day, what is it going to get you? What is, that, what is that 5, 10, 15 minutes of fame going to get you? Nine of Cups in the reverse. I just said that. Be careful for some of you letting people in your life because I'm going to tell you, especially narcissists, narcissists, some people, they think it's an instant connection with somebody. You got to be careful with these narcissistic lovers that come into your life. It's unrequited love. The Nine of Cups in the reverse, they don't like you. These people, they want to sit up on the phone with you all day, all night, asking you about from everything from the time you was born up until today. They're trying to figure out what your weak spot is. Be careful also when I just said that it may stop telling your birth date to every person. Stop telling your birth date to every person. Stop telling people, oh, I was born at this time because all they're doing is going pulling up your natal chart trying to figure it out. It's a lot of people out here who are very well versed in astrology. Once they know where you were born and they know your time of day, their um your time, the time that you were born, that's it. They'll pull your natal chart up every single day. And that's how people are energy swapping and delaying your destiny. Stop telling people your business. It's too many monitoring spirits out here. When I meet people now, I'm, I'm so basic. I don't give people my name, birthday or anything. I even see readers. Do. I used to do it. I'll sit there and tell you everything in my birth chart. I'm sun, moon, rise, not anymore. You, if you notice, I don't even post when, I, when it's my birthday. It's not your business what day my birthday is. Because although a lot of people here support me, it's a lot of people here who hate me. Donations, happy birthdays. I can live the rest of my life and I, I'm going to be just fine if nobody ever tells me happy birthday. It, it's not that important to me. I don't need the clout chase. You don't have to tell me happy birthday. You don't have to send me a cash out. Nothing. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to stay protected. And when people cannot infiltrate and, and destroy you, that's why they're pissed off. Because they don't know what to attack. They, they don't know enough about you, so they have to lie. Six of Wands in the reverse. Exactly. Somebody here is, is at a, a total loss. This is failure. Nine of Cups in the reverse and the Six of Wands in the reverse. Someone here who has no real sense of identity. 
They they know that they're they're losing. They know that they're in a, a disadvantage. They feel like a total disgrace to their to their own family, friends, and community. So all they do is go and attack other people. Put that in. the fool in reverse. Yeah, the fool in reverse. Somebody is foolish, taking these foolish risk and actions to attack other people is the reason why this person, the eight of ones in reverse, nothing is moving forward for this person. They're restricted and, and blocked, full of nothing but pain and agony. So what do they do for fun? Attack other people. <laughs> That's all they can do because they're miserable. Eight of swords, three of swords, eight of wands in the reverse. This person is in a mental entrapment. They're possibly sick, heartbroken, lonely, Depressed, sad, confused, restricted. No opportunities are opening up to this person. This is the kind of person they, they can't seem to do anything, create anything. Therefore, they just have started to, you know, I'm, I know for a sure fact what I'm picking up on. This is someone who currently is making money, profit, by gossiping and, and criticizing and slandering other creators because they don't have the type of content that anybody wants to be engaged in. They can't seem to get engagement with their content. Therefore, now, they just go and post about other content creators because they know that drama sells. Five of Pentacles. If somebody here is, is in a bad, bad way. Page of Wands. They don't have any type of energy. They don't have any real passion for what they're doing. They're constantly facing different obstacles and challenges. The Page of Wands is in reverse. They don't know what to do next. They're just really like throwing spaghetti on a wall, hoping that something will stick because all of their ideas, you know, none of them paying out. None of their ideas bring them any type of wish fulfillment. They're in poverty. All of their circumstances and conditions, everything is blowing up for this person. The tower. Nothing, all of this chaos and, and destructive energy that they send out to other people is hitting this person now. Now the hangman here, now they feel trapped. Now they're experiencing delays. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Whoever this is, when I tell you, whoever this is or this group, all of their lies, gossip, and slander has caught up with them. You have the page of pentacles in the reverse, the page of wands. First of all, this is page energy. So that means that whatever they touch right now is failing. They, they can't even get an idea off the ground without it failing. Page of wands, this is like the beginning stages of something. It's a very childish, immature energy. Everything that they touch is, is destroyed. Because of all of the bad energy that they put. This is someone that has actually blackballed themselves. Their piss poor character. It, now nobody wants to deal with it. This person has ruined their own name. In, a, in, in an entire community. Nobody trusts this person. Nobody wants to deal with this person. Nobody is willing to invest in this person. Nothing. So now here they are. They're acting out. They're lashing out. They're upset because whatever they've been doing to steal, energy harvesting, stealing, blocking other people, it's not working. The jig is up. Somebody's scheme and scam and all their scandals have caught up with them. And they don't even have they don't have the money to get themselves out of whatever they've gotten into. You have here blessing strategy. Natural disaster. Look, this person was planning to steal a blessing from you. You have wish fulfillment. You've been enlightened. This person here th thought that they were, I don't know, this person does readings or with this card here, like they thought that they was playing, you know, chess with you. They weren't. 
This person was planning something was planning to create some kind of disaster for you. Something has already been promised to you. And this is somebody that was trying to, you know, keep you out of some kind of relationship or something like that. This is all backfired on this person. Because with promise here, it's like God has already assured you of something. God has promised you that you're going to have some kind of wish fulfillment. This is definitely somebody in like an online community. Somebody tried to steal something of yours that was like your private information. Somebody a part of a, a network or an online community. Now they're stressed out and experiencing some type of nightmare at this point. Memory, protest, accident, and fate. Yeah. They're stressed out. They're haunted by something that they did to try to get attention because now it has gone wrong. Somebody could be having car problems. And somebody knows what it is that somebody is experiencing all of this backfire energy. They know for a sure fact that all of these accidents and dangerous situations that they're running into, they know that it's, it's not a coincidence that it's happening. They know that it's happening simply because of what they did. This is a group of people who try to have you put out, have you homeless, have you kicked out of some kind of, you know, community, out of your home, a job, or whatever. They were overindulging in, in some type of spell work or tricks, scams, scandals, or whatever. And here you are, you're being promoted. Yeah, and there's evidence that they absolutely tried to create some kind of issue for you, sacrifice you. They did a ritual or whatever, hoping that you would lose something. And yet you still persevere to hear you're still receiving good news. Somebody was trying to break up a, a contract between you and another person. <laughs> this is so stupid. Yeah. Whole group of people collaborating together. Now everybody looking stupid. Because they thought that they was going to dictate and control a person so that they wouldn't come towards you or that they were going to control you. You have too much self-love for somebody to sit around and try to dictate and control your life. You're not stupid. Yeah, this is this is a professional high priest or high priestess. This person makes money off of gossiping and doing spell work. And you stop this person right in their tracks. And now I'm telling you, they're looking real stupid. Three of Wands in the reverse. Nothing is coming in for this person. Whatever they were hoping was coming in, it's not. With the chariot in the reverse, yeah. <laughs> Won't be any forward movement here. Whatever they thought they were going to get, they're not. Look at that death card in the reverse. Somebody here just keeps repeating the same cycle over and over. They're not going through any type of transformation. What this is, is somebody too with the Six of Pentacles here, somebody keeps trying to swap like energy with you hoping to, to steal a divine connection. Four of Wands. Somebody keeps trying to do this so that they can delay you from going into a union or they can stop you from making a major purchase. They can stop you from creating a life, a family, a foundation. They don't want you to celebrate or be celebrated. So whoever this is, heavy Scorpio energy here, King of Cups, Ace of Cups, some of you could be connected with a, a um, divine lover who could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups here. But somebody here really wants this offer, I'm assuming, for themselves or they want your energy because they feel like you, you tend to somehow have a lot of The Six of Pentacles is generosity. Somebody feels like you have too much going for yourself. People are too nice to you. You're receiving too much kindness. You, you have too much power. Too many people want to share with you. You're, you're valued. Um, if this is in a workplace, somebody feels like, you know, you keep getting promotions or, you know, you're, you seem to be favored by, by, by the boss or whatever. So, Somebody just feels like you're getting too much love. You're getting too much attention. People are too generous with you. You you know too much. People enjoy that. People like you too much. 
this person doesn't like the fact that people they they want to be your friends. People want to support you. So what this person did is they thought that they were going to put an end to your foundation or anything that you would be able to celebrate. And what it actually happened is they destroyed their own foundation. I'm hearing like the old people say, this person don't have a pot to piss, at, piss in or a window to throw it out of at this point, trying to attack you. They should have been worried about their own household because it looks like right at about this point, they're about to end up homeless. All this spell work and everything else backfiring. Somebody here is literally about to lose a home, a job, whatever goofy relationship they may have had. They're going to lose everything because they keep coming out. This is somebody that has routinely been attacking you over and over and over again. This stuff is, is not going to keep going like this. Like, I don't know how people think. I know maybe you've been getting away with this for a while, but listen, all good things come to an end. Now, somebody has been just beating a dead horse, determined. Somebody is like, their main focus is to make you look like you're the empress in the reverse, when in actuality, they're the empress in the reverse. They want you to see to seem very insecure, but obviously nothing that they're doing is working because of your level of self-love. So they recognize that you're very strong with self-love. So now they do everything to attack you and create the illusion that you don't have self-love. So what they're doing is they want your community, your friends, your family, and everyone else to start to be mean and cold towards you so that you will then start to question yourself. Oh, maybe I am a bad person. Maybe I am a bad mom because right now every, everyone seems to be turning against me. That's this person's chaos magic. That's all it is. It, they're doing chaos magic. And, and, and conjuring up dark spirits and, and energies to make you cry, procrastinate. I almost said cry. They want to make you cry. Like, how goofy are you? You're an adult that's out here. What are we, children in, in, at, at the playground? We, we're in the sandbox now? You want to make somebody cry? You want to steal another baby's binky? Like, what's wrong with you? People are, I'm so tired of these, like, goofy, ignorant people. The moon in the reverse. Somebody is not afraid. And the secrets and the is coming out. The things that people are doing. The illusions that they're they're creating, it's all coming out. And like I said, the things that's happening to these people is no coincidence. They know for a sure fact that the reason why they are failing right now is because of what they've done to you and other people. Seven of Swords, they know it. And then they see too that you're still happy. See, they would know that maybe they had a chance if you were somewhere bent over in poverty, homeless, within a, a, a on your last breath. But they see, oh, you're still happy. So that's the reason why they're like, oh my God, we did all that work and it didn't work. No, it didn't. Another ritual, an, another sacrifice, another ritual, an, another year of moon rituals gone straight to hell and waste. I don't understand why you won't just give up at this point. It's like, bro, how much how much money, time, effort, energy, and attention are you going to focus on doing something to a person? It's not working. It's not working. Literally, people are destroying their own lives. Some of these people, literally, they're, they're losing children, family members, pets, jobs, still trying to attack a person. Somebody here, this could be a terror reader being attacked constantly with a platform. Somebody is watching you, trying to tap into your energy and attack you. And they're also trying to create a way to dictate and control whatever masculine you, you could be connected to as well. They're trying to, I don't know, use demonic possession to attack your masculine or send a bunch of dark spirits to your home or this person's home. Like, it's just all this spell work and, and cursing and lying and slander. It's just so ridiculous. I promise you, that, that's why I, I just disappear for months at a time because it's like, what's the point? Somebody out here has literally had like a car accident. And I guarantee you, they knew when that car crashed exactly why it happened. 
because they sat around and they thought for so long that they was going to cause you to have a car crash. These people are trying to do things to you spiritually so that it looks like it's very, like it's just a natural disaster while certain things are occurring in your life. And then when it comes back, when it's returned back to the sender, they're like, oh, wow. Yeah, because you're going to fall into the grave that you was digging for somebody else. Every single time. People collectively are rising up. If they met you when you was not even gullible, not anymore. People need to learn who you attacked last year is not the same. This is the year of the dragon. 